Hey guys, what's up? And today I have the review for you for the Hypervenom Phantoms. Um, ever since I stopped doing the How Are My Hypervenoms videos, uh, cause I haven't done those for a while. Um, I figured that I could give you guys the full review, cause I've had these boots, like, pretty much ever since they came out. Um, the only thing is that I haven't played soccer and, or football, whatever you guys like to call it. Uh, I haven't played the sport in actually probably a few months because my high school season ended and then um, just haven't really played much after that. Although I am going to a tournament uh, the next week, I believe. So that'll be fun. Get back on my toes and play again because I've been dying to play. Um, but anyway, so we're going to start off with the upper. The upper is made out of Actually, I oh yeah, I know it's made out of it's made out of Nike skin as you guys can see here, uh, and it's this material it's like a honeycomb material. Uh, really, really nice texture to it, and it feels really good on your foot, uh, which is definitely my favorite part about it. And when you put your feet in here, it just the whole thing just wraps around and makes the most comfortable fit you can get, which is definitely my favorite part. Um, the laces they tie really tight and it pretty much it kind of depends if you guys have wide feet Then this thing will kind of stick out like that But if you guys have narrow feet it'll kind of come in and when you tie the laces tight it'll look like that So that's how it looks on me anyway because I have very narrow feet But as far as um, like how your feet are for these to fit uh, You can have medium, narrow, and wide it doesn't really matter I feel like it's definitely like a more wide shoe as you can see, this part kind of sticks out a little bit more. Uh, it's definitely more wider than the Vapor, if you guys are wondering. So, yeah, it's, again, it's very comfortable. I like it a lot. Uh, I know there's a lot of new colorways that have come out recently. Um, I'm definitely thinking about getting a pair of any of the new colorways. So, if you guys have any suggestions for which color you think I should pick up, uh, just drop a comment down below and tell me which ones. And I will try as hard as I can to get them. Um, so yeah, that's about it as far as the upper of uh, the inside. The comfort level is definitely, definitely, it's very comfy. It's got like this really smooth material. If you guys can hear that, it's like, I'm not really sure what it's made out of, but it's very soft. The heel counter is down here, it's pretty hard. You can't really move it. But then up here, you can just push it right down. So... There's a lot of mixed opinions about those about that, but in my opinion, I like it a lot. So I feel like it moves with your heel and it locks it down. So it's definitely a plus. Uh, on the inside here, as you guys can see, that's like the like the it's supposed to resemble, I think, like an inside of like a snake or something, or uh, something like that. But I feel like it's really comfy. It's got like suede around it, so. Yeah, I don't think it's, it does, oh yeah, it does have it on both sides. So it's very breathable too. Like you can, it feels like you're just in a sock. It's the most amazing feeling ever. Definitely my favorite boot um, to ever wear that I've ever owned. So now that we're done with the, uh, oh, actually one more thing. Here, yeah, the insole for you guys. This is what the insole looks like um, after a few months of playing on it. And I use these things pretty much every single day um, like when I used to play a few months ago but I'm starting back up so I'll be using them a lot more but these things are kinda getting ripped up so gotta get a new pair but yeah these are it's really comfy uh, they're very thin it's just like the vapor one and it's perforated except right there there used to be a hyperventum sign right there but it got torn off because I use them too much but uh, they have this thing on here where it's supposedly your big toe is supposed to, which, oh, your big toe is supposed to go like right here and then your other toes go right there and you can like move it, but it doesn't really make sense because there's a piece filling it in, so you can't really, like, uh, it's kind of confusing, but they made it so it doesn't really work that way. But anyway, nevertheless, it's a great insole inside of the shoe, just in case any of you guys are wondering. All that turf in there. Now we will get on to the traction and the traction of the shoe. 
definitely one of my favorite features of the shoe. It's unlike any other traction I've had before. If I had to mix any two sole plates together to make this traction, it would definitely be the Vapor and the Tiempo. Because this kind of, like, it's got patterns where it's shooting all over the place. And it's got the circular studs like the Tiempo has. So, and same like this thing. This is the thing that was supposed to move, but it doesn't. So, it doesn't really make any sense. Used to be a uh, Nike check right there, but that got worn away as well. Traction's really good. In my opinion, it digs into the ground really good. Uh, you never, I've never slipped in these, I don't think. So it does its job, that's for sure. Also, another thing I forgot to take you guys around is that the outside, um, all these little nicks and stuff, this is from other players' cleats and from dragging the toes and turf marks right there. That's the worst one. And all the way around there. But yeah, the traction is definitely a, a big plus as far as the um, as far as uh, traction concerns. But nevertheless, this boot is one of my favorite boots by far. If I had to rate this, I would have to get it a nine and a half out of ten, only because of durability. I wish they would have put like put like a plastic band around here to support it more, but they didn't. So that's that. But anyway, um. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. I'm definitely going to be updating that more often now. So check the link down below. And also make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment any questions you have and what colorway I should get of the Hyper Venom or any other boot. And make sure to subscribe as well. Thank you and have a good day.